the hell is in here? Oh gosh, it's just dirt. Once again, as you can see, the two block high jump height came to the rescue there. And uh, I think three might do it. So one, two, three might be enough to gather it. Let's see if I move this out of the way. Yes, it was. I was right. Now we're going to go down. I'm not going to break that one. It doesn't look that unnatural. Now I'm going to come back down here. We're going to go back. I'm going to make our stone power cell. Which this will be used to gain uh, access to other items. Like, uh, I don't know what the hell they're called. I don't know exactly what tier it is. I think it's like uh, maybe limestone and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Um, that might be obsidian power cell. I'm not really sure on them. I haven't really paid attention to that much very much. Um, I pretty much just, if I need a new one, I just make a new one. They're not that hard to come up with the ingredients. As you saw, I found obsidian. I don't know how long I've been recording for, but I found obsidian relatively quick. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to see our torches that are placed to lead us to the coal. Let's see. Now, normally I would have suggested to grab the extractor out of your inventory beforehand. I'm kind of a rebel. And by rebel, I mean I'm just being a smartass. I'm not really a rebel. And as you can see here, it takes 30 seconds for that call. Cool. Well, within that 30 seconds, I'm going to go back to my house, go grab my stone power cell, run back, grab my coal, come back again, and make the forge, I think it was, that we were trying to make. And then that will basically sum up my getting started. Um, some helpful tips. I never leave my house without at least a couple potions. Um... Maybe because you never know what's going to attack you. You never know how many enemies are going to attack you at once. And also, if you're a beginner, you don't know the special attacks. So you're like, oh, let me attack this enemy. Oh, it's not doing any damage. And boom, he just blew up. You know what I mean? Like, you, don't under you won't know those attacks and stuff. So you won't know what to look out for. Um, plus, sometimes you may be like, what the fuck? All right. Well, now that my character is just a floating head and a sword... I'll have to submit this bug. Actually, I'll show them the video. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go with the forge, and fuck, we need six coal, which we have to go get. I forgot. All right, so we're going to put on our new power cell, and then we're going to run back. Yeah, I'll definitely, uh, I'm going to have to definitely show the devs that bug. So, that would be nice to show them, and they'll be able to maybe improve on it and figure out why it happened. Is it messing up still? Yep, I'm still just a floating head and sword. Alright. Not a big deal. It's still in Alpha Stage this game. I think it was released August 13, 2014. It is now September 2nd. I've had it since the 28th. I've been playing it for three days, and I have about 13 hours of gameplay into it. Um, I have other stuff I have to do, like online schooling and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so, it's a great game. I personally love it. So we're going to grab these, and I hope, okay, it's not going to show me that bug that I had last time. Uh, there's a uh, bug going on around that a lot of times. Like, oh, I'm going to gather this red flower so it's right in my face. All right. There was a bug that I was experiencing. I don't know if it was a bug or if it was because my inventory was full. Um, I, I didn't really look into it after I released that it was a bug. But I, I did have the same exact quote-unquote bug happen when my inventory was full. Where it would say that you took it or it would make the noise that you took something and then it wouldn't disappear and it wouldn't actually give you the coal. But it would still sit there. Like, you were able to open it up again and try and take the coal, but it wouldn't give you anything. It would just make noise that you're rummaging through something. Alright, so real quickly, because I have yet to do this, I'm going to put my door up. Because that's one thing you're going to have to do. And on top, I'm going to place a dirt piece. You're going to walk in. You can close your door. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Close your door. And you're going to go over to your crafting table, and you're going to make... Oh, I could make a cold torch right now. But actually, you're not going to go to your crafting table. You're going to go to basic crafting. And you're going to make yourself a forge. Which is instant. You're going to place that forge. And as you can see here, I can make my beeswax into melted wax. Which is used for a couple things. I don't know if I have anything on the crafting table yet for melted that you use melted wax for. Um, I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Gob of goo, glob of goo. Now, as of right now, there is no nothing in the crafting table for melted wax, but um, there is some things that you can make with the melted wax that you're going to need melted wax at one time, 
and uh, yeah, I think Stone Stairs is one of them. To be honest with you, I think Stone Stairs. You need the got either you need the glob of goo or you need uh, the melt of wax. I think it's a glob of goo because you need a glob of goo for the wood stairs. So why would you need glob of glue for stair for stone? Let's see. Yeah, it's still glob of goo. Um, yeah, I'm not real sure what the the bees wax is, but you'll notice that the glob of goo is one main issue that they're working on right now. Of how little drops you get of it. Um. Yeah. Thank you for watching. This has been my starter's guide to Creativerse. Like I stated, it's a great game to check out if you haven't seen any. If you're just watching this video to see what it's like to play, it. I don't want to say it feels like Minecraft because it doesn't, but it resembles Minecraft in a way, and it doesn't actually not resemble Minecraft. It, it it basically resembles sandbox games. It's a, it's a typical sandbox game, but it brings better things than most sandbox games do. And the thing that's great about this game, if you don't have the money for twenty dollars, for all those kids out there that you know are big fans of Minecraft, that you know their mommy and daddy won't buy them it. When this game is released, they plan to make it a free free to play game. So, oh, another thing I wanted to touch up. Um, there's these things called Mojo, which is player-based. Oh, look at that floating head and sword again. Whatever. And it's, it's basically their in-game currency. They're doing this. I'm not sure. I don't know why they're doing this. I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's a very not smart idea. Where you can, If you pay for the game, you get 400 Mojo, and then when the game comes out, you get another 400 Mojo. You can buy all different things, like, you know, certain extractors, obsidian power cells, um, stained glass, castle pack, where you can make a castle, um, the builder's jumpstart, which I could have easily grabbed when I started the game, but I wanted to make it more along the lines of someone who was playing it free-to-play, or someone who didn't want to waste their 30, 30 mojo on, uh, you know, a jumpstart. Uh, well, that being said... There's an in-game currency that they're refunding you. They're giving you twenty dollars worth, which is four hundred mojo, when you purchase the game, and then they're giving you another twenty worth when the game comes out. So they're basically doubling the amount. Granted, it's not really costing them any money, but they're just doing it as courtesy because you were helping them develop the game of their dreams. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna no longer rant about this game, and I, I do want to highly recommend it to anyone who's out there watching this video, as it is an amazing game. And don't listen to all those Minecraft fanboys saying that, you know, oh, well, this game sucks compared to Minecraft, blah, 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 blah. They obviously have not played it. If they played it, they would drop their Minecraft game bullcrap and they'd play this, considering you can see the amount of detail they go into with each recipe. I mean, just to make a leather breastplate, you need the leather, you need bones, and you need twine. It's realistic. It's not just gra gathering leather and putting them in blocks. It, it makes you actually work towards what you want. So, I'm going to end this video because I keep on ranting about stupid things to convince people to purchase this game when um, it may or may not work. But, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned for more videos on Creativerse, uh, Minecraft, um, and basically anything I feel like playing. So, get the hell over it. Thanks. Yeah.